we peel the bottle gourd made into small pieces and coarse blended with a cup of milk and then i'm cooking it in the microwave for about 10 minutes just for to speed up the process that's optional next i'm also cooking this in a zoji rushi electric pan which i really like uh, for things that take a long time to cook next uh, i'm adding sugar about 2 uh, cups of it and mixing it Uh, with this pan i can actually multitask and do other things because it's going to take some time for this to cook next we are adding um, ghee about 4 uh, tablespoons we are also adding saffron pinch of it mixed in milk to the halwa next we are adding uh, cardamom powder for uh, giving it a very nice flavor and you can see that the halwa is nicely coming together and thickening here we are on the side in a small pan we are frying in ghee some raisins and nuts cashews pecans and um other nuts to put into the halwa now the nuts are added and we just let it simmer for some more time this is uh, pretty much finished it has come together nicely it's all cooked and now we are taking it out into the serving bowls and uh, serving it this tastes fantastic and your friends will ask for recipe and i here is dr darani giving her feedback enjoy the cooking hello everyone i am host call and i got this lovely lunch from dr k gundapalli she made me a nice lovely um sorakai pulasu and then this is the curry and this is the great halwa that we were looking forward to i'm going to taste each of them i'm going to start with my favorite one the sorakai pulasu mm lovely tangy with right amount of spices simply delicious let's go into the curry mm the sesame seeds and the coconuts are giving the extra kick in this it's so wonderful and it's so delicious and it's very good for our health too let's try my favorite halwa you can see it has a nice green color with some pecans cashews and raisins mmm melting in my mouth as it's simply the best thank you dr k gunthapali thank you for this lovely dinner for me <laughs> 